What's up you guys, we're out here in the garage tinkering on the brand new Mullis Race Cars Dragster. No huge projects today, but I do have just a few odds and ends that I wanna kinda finish up that didn't get done at Mullis that I'm gonna be doing myself, some small little projects that I can just complete quick here in the garage. But what I do wanna show you is a whole bunch of the parts have started coming in for this thing. So I kinda wanna run you through what we've gotten so far. Thought maybe you'd find it interesting to see some of the parts that are going to be going onto this hot rod as they are starting to show up. For now, I do wanna try and mount this little LED light. Uh, it shouldn't be that hard, drill one hole. But this is an LED light that's going to be uh, mounted right beside where you fill the fuel and then this light will turn on when the fuel tank is full. So it does have a level sensor in there, uh, but the light is not installed yet. So we're gonna get that out of the way. So I went ahead and got the radiator out of the way, and uh, we're gonna be installing this light right here uh, so that you can see it right in this bracket. Uh, so when you're filling fuel, you'll be able to see what's going on. But uh, you guys, let me know down in the comments, what do you think about this uh, powder coat color? This powder coat color is called Crystal Gray. And it came from Prismatic Powders. I've already been asked that a couple times, but hopefully uh, it's it's showing up on video because I really love how this how this powder color turned out. And I do not want to scratch it. I love it. Crystal gray Prismatic Powders, highly recommended. Looks like we're gonna be looking for a quarter inch hole. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Doesn't feel great drilling holes. In a brand new car. I just don't like the feeling, but it's gonna have to be done many a time. Actually, I'm gonna take the 730 seconds there and holler it out a little bit. Maybe that'll be a better fit. Oof. It wants more. It wants a little more. Why is why is the body part off again? Why did we take the body off? So we can reach in there. We got the radiator off too. Is that okay with you? Yeah. All right, cool. That filing out of there. That filing out of that seat. It's too pretty. Oh yeah, that's nice. So there we go. Cross literally the teeniest, tiniest thing off the list. Ready for wiring. Plus I got to drill my first hole in my race car. Big moves out here, big moves. Next tiny job. I have to install the nameplate. You guys, serial number 2024 model 633. Let's go. That's what's up. That is where she gonna be. So Barry, you're gonna help me out. We're gonna get that thing riveted on. That looks cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the help. All right. Let's get a look at some of these parts we got on the table. This first box is from DragRaceSolutions.com, and of course, this Titan Shifter is the star of the show in this box. You guys, don't mind the fingerprints. I've kind of been all over this thing. Gloss black, all billet aluminum. You guys, made in the USA by racers. Uh, this is an absolute amazing piece. It is so clean, so beautiful, so smooth. It's all billet aluminum, stainless fasteners. Um, I went ahead and went with the air-operated solenoid, the air shifter. Um, I'm just, I'm a K&R Pro Stage guy. I'm going to have air on this car anyways, um, and that's just... That's just how I roll, and uh, I just couldn't figure a way to get away from having air on board anyway, so we went ahead with the air shifter, but I'm loving the shifter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on the car right now. i got to see it on the car. It's beautiful. I think it looks really cool. <laughs> it even comes with the stainless steel mounting hardware, so I don't even have to round up the bolts for this thing. 
and you know, that bolt pattern is on point. That is what's up. Oh yeah. That looks awesome in there. Look, it's so smooth, even Vera can operate it. That's what's up. Of course, one cool feature, as with most modern shifters, is uh, it actually has the access panel here over on, uh, I guess, the right side of the shifter. So that way you just can pop the body off the dragster and take this panel off and service anything you need to get into and, and, and install uh, inside the shifter. Whereas, you know, instead of having to take the other side off and then duck down inside the car and, and bend over the body and everything else. So this is built right. Uh, this is clean. This is beautiful. Very approved. Dang. I like, I like that. Nice. So here's your neutral safety switch, of course. And here it clicks. That means shifter's in park so the car can start. Put the car in gear, and it's already clicked, which means car will not start. Second, car will not start. Neutral, clicks. So the car will start in neutral. And then, uh, of course, reverse will not start. Back to park, and absolutely, car will start in park. Put this beautiful CNC machined billet cover back on. Gosh, it just feels good in the hand, y'all. I love this piece. It's got to look good if it's going to be bolted to this mollusk, because this thing looked good. Oh, that's nice. That's nice how it just hits that countersink and shwink right into place. Love it. Precision, baby. You guys, I just gotta try this thing once from the inside. Oh, baby. I like. Very good. Pops right up in reverse. Mark. Oh, man. I like. Love it. You guys, I got more goodies in this Drag Race Solutions box. I mean, I'm trying not to cut any corners with this car. So I'm loading up on the billet. I'm loading up on these sweet little items. Like here's a coil mount stuck with some bubble wrap. Bolts right onto the back of the head. Mounts various different styles of ignition coils. Billet CNC machined and actually nice. Vacuum pump mount. Love that. So nice. It's in this bottom one. Oh, oh yeah. This is just, look, this is just another little piece of engine dress up. This here is actually a vacuum pump pulley. I just think it looks cool and I was just a few bucks away from stepping up to the next step on their Black Friday deal. So I threw it in the cart, basically got pretty much a free part there. Um, love it. While I was at it, I had to just complete the set Got the black billet radiator cap. It's pretty ugly, the one I got in my car now. And then I grabbed some gray colored buttons for this car. Uh, I think these are gonna look real clean and real cool uh, with the steering wheel setup that you'll see soon. Um, I ordered it and it's not here, but the gray buttons are looking pretty, pretty slick. Of course, you guys know that I've uh, tried about every type of trans brake button. And I always go back to, to 
one or two different ones, but you guys know that the Biondo Double O trans brake button has always been one of my favorites. But it comes anodized red, and it's just not going to look great, so I did a thing. I went ahead and took one of my Biondo Double O buttons and just stripped the anodizing. Gave it a little polish, uh, just to give it that, uh, that color scheme that I'm going for on the interior here. Uh, like I said, couldn't have just a red anodized button in there. That wouldn't look right. This is probably going to look pretty sweet with one of our... Gold Star TV button guides on it. Yeah, I'm liking that. Depending on when you're watching this video, we might be doing a pretty cool special on these right now. Uh, we are doing a Black Friday special on these button guides. Uh, they're up on the website, link down in the description. Tons of different styles, tons of different uh, designs for different trans brake buttons. Uh, link down in the description. So that does it for this box. Pretty much went to dragracesolutions.com and ordered one of each. <laughs> Highly recommend you do the same. Ooh, here's some neat stuff. Uh, we're probably gonna get to this in another video, but basically just a, look, this is, it's a dash mount for this absolutely incredible Computech touchscreen dash that'll be in the car. Um, there's a lot going on here with the data logger, expansion module, and all of the sensors. Uh, we're going to save that for another video or videos. Also got some pretty cool parts from Motion Raceworks here. Uh, a couple new catch cans. Of course we got our water coolant catch can and also our vacuum pump one over here. Let's just actually grab these out of here and take a, take a closer look while we're at it. This on this on to this. Sorry about this camera angle, by the way. Of course, one of the really cool things about this catch can is not only its aesthetic being all billet, all black, but uh, the fact that mounting it, you can literally put this bracket and clock this thing every which direction with all of these different mounting holes across the top. So that's a really cool feature. And uh, I think ours are gonna be, mine's gonna be mounted about like that, right at the 90 degree position. Looks like I probably should have put them screws in before I put this on. We'll see if we can get them, but cool. Oh yeah, I can sneak right in there and tighten them up still. I like that. We're not gonna mount it right now because it's gonna be in the way for some other things, but when it comes time, she's ready and she's looking good. A water coolant catch can. A lot simpler, obviously, but Beautiful. Another awesome feature on the Mollus is that there's these huge mounts on either side already welded into this car specifically for catch cans. So I'll be able to easily mount those once I'm ready to do so. And you guys, there's even one back here for your transmission um, overflow as well. So that's nice. I like it. Looking forward to mounting them up. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. That's all I can really do at the moment until I get a few more pieces of hardware and a few more parts to come in and uh, a lot of the big ticket items are still to come so definitely subscribe uh, so you guys can see all the new stuff that we're going to be putting on this car all the trick features and parts a ton of awesome awesome companies that are helping us out on this thing uh, and again thank you to mollus race cars for making this thing a reality it's absolutely incredible if you missed the first video in our ultimate mollus race cars dragster build series there is a link down in the description i'm setting up a playlist on the channel so you can go and watch all the episodes and watch this car go from brand new roller to complete race car until then thank you guys for liking commenting subscribing all the things that you do i'll see you in the next one later